Hey, Orbis X fans, quick update here. Going to show you guys the new custom document signing feature. Uh, it's similar to other program type things uh, that you're probably aware of where you can get customers to sign a document, uh, such as, you know, DocuSign and other things like that. Uh, so within your Orbis X platform, you will be able to collect customer signatures. This is helpful for things like liability forms, so on and so forth. So if you go to clients and then go down to signing documents, open that up. You're able to create new documents, you give it a name. This is for your own internal use, uh, but also it's helpful just to organize things. Uh, and then this is where you would put in the characters for the, you know, the words and characters for the actual form itself. Uh, so in this case, you know, I created a, a demo one here called liability form, uh, view content, and then you can download as PDF. So I'll just click edit that to show you. So here it would have all the words uh, for the actual, you know, agreement or form that they have to sign that we want to collect the signature for at our shop for example we do window tinting and so there are uh, legal limits to what tint shades we can actually put on a vehicle uh, we do get them to sign a liability form uh, if they want to go uh, different than the legal limits because by law we're allowed to tint any vehicle uh, any shade because we don't know what you're using it for you might be parking it shipping it whatever the case may be uh, but when you're on the roads, you have to acknowledge that you're going to drive with a certain legal limit. This is also helpful for things, you know, uh, relating to your coatings that you're doing or paint protection work or something like that. If you do windshield replacements, you're probably going to have some, you know, liability waivers or something of that nature. So you can do those uh, within here. You would create your forms. And then once you have your forms created, uh, you'll see a list of them here and you can download a PDF and preview what they would look like. I'll just open up this so this is the the preview of the pdf and then you can always keep that on file and send that to customers manually or the other option of course and in this case we'll go to our test account so super test and so from our super test this is where we'll scroll down and you're looking for signed documents under the journal and above files and uploads click on sign documents and it's going to show uh, you know all the documents they've signed in the past it's going to show when it was sent it'll tell you if it's been signed or not if it's unsigned it'll show up and then you can also request document signing from the customer as well and you'll be able to choose the different forms that you've created so in this case we only have one the liability form now what's cool about this too is the template that you made under this section clients and then sign documents that's essentially just a template but if i go to send this to this customer for example i click on sign it's going to pull up that template and I can actually modify this for that customer. So this is helpful if you want to put in, you know, some other information specific to their thing, you know, like as per our discussion, you will receive 5% window film on your vehicle and you acknowledge the legal limit is 30%. For example, that's what it is in our jurisdiction. Um, so, you know, you can put in, you know, certain things that are specific to the customer and that'll actually save for this one instance that you're sending it. So in this case, we'll just do send now. So we're going to send that over. Okay, sending success and it loads it here. It says it's unsigned. And if we click on PDF and then we open up that PDF, you're going to see it has all the information we put in custom to this one instance. So as per our discussion, you'll receive 5% window film, blah, blah, blah. Right, list goes on. So that then goes to the customer and the customer is gonna receive an email now. And the email is gonna say, you know, your document is waiting to be signed. Hello, you know, we've created a new document, requires your signature as per our recent discussions, please review and sign online. So we'll open this up in a new window, and there we go. So as per discussion, you'll receive 5% window film on your vehicle, blah, blah, blah. They can go down here, and then they can, you know, sign the document, sign and agree. And so now that I've signed that, I'll go back here. Let me refresh this list, and this signed, unsigned is going to show signed. So there you can see, boom, it's now been signed. Um, and then I can download that as PDF and keep that on file. It'll always be in Orbis, of course, as well. So here it is, as for your discussion, and then it'll have their signature with the date that they signed it as well. So it's helpful, you can always have that for reference. You can go back, and this name here, that's the one that's the for reference, for your internal reference. So it is helpful to name it something that you'll understand. Like in, in this case, it could be like window tinting liability form, or it could be, you know, ceramic coating post care instructions, or whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, so you can always do that. 
and then uh, you're able to send those out on a per basis. Now, if the customer says, you know, geez, I didn't receive the link or for some reason they, they put it off, you can easily just come back here and you can click this little button that's going to resend that notice. And you can always view if it's been signed, you can view the, the document online or you can do a PDF and then you can always delete them as well. Um, so if it's unsigned, you won't have the view option, only PDF because it hasn't been signed yet. Once it's signed, you can view it online and see the full thing as well. Um, so that's essentially how the client's email uh, that looks like this and it's going to tell you when they've signed it. So your customer is going to tell you which customer has signed their document and you can now view it online. And it's going to say to view the document, click this link, you click that, it'll show you. Uh, but then it'll also give you the customer details and it'll be on their profile as well. So you can always search by their you know, customer ID, their name, their email, phone number, whatever the case may be. And you're able to pull it up. So just a quick and easy way that you can keep all your signed documents with the customer in one place. And, you know, make sure that you, you cover your buns for your, your shop or your mobile detailing business to, to make sure that you have all your, your, you know, your legal side of things covered with signatures from the customer.